I just blend into the bed. That's good. That's Living my best life. Great. Honestly, awesome. I just touched your butt by accident. It's going well. Thank you. <laughs> this is my French foreign exchange student. She's Bonjour! <laughs> there goes the baker with his tray like always. Oh yeah. Yeah, they every in time. France in that show, movie, play. It's like a big plot point. This can't be something you're just finding no, out. No, no, I, I'm not, I know that they, I know they're from France, everyone. I just, like, do you though? Hey you guys, what's up? It's me, Catherine. This is my friend, Julia. We're missing the third person in our little posse, our good friend, Kylie. Wait, is this your YouTube? Excuse me? Are you Jeremy Jordan? That's because she's in a show and we're gonna what? go see that show. We're gonna go see it in a couple hours. We're having a girls night, so we decided to get ready together to see the show and we decided to hang out with you guys But if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name's Katherine Steele If you haven't already and you'd like to go ahead and hit subscribe that way you get notified for all future videos And you get to join the, the theater, theater Thursday fam. fam first we take over Broadway and then the world <laughs> That was so aggressive. You can follow me at Kath underscore Steele snapchat Twitter and Instagram You can follow Julia at Julia Rose Lester on Instagram, and uh, I just made a Twitter, so <laughs> you look like an American Girl doll, but in a good way. That's actually really accurate. I feel like I'm. I like it. Girl it's of the good. Year, 2004. I can see it. You have a sister currently at NYU. You have a sister who graduated Point Park. Mm -hmm. You decided to not <clears throat> do the traditional college route. Yes, I did. Not. So tell us a little bit about that. My entire life, I was like, I'm gonna go to college for musical theater. Right. Like I'm gonna go live in, live on the East Coast, and you know, go to college for musical theater and do that whole thing. Um, and that was both my sister's dreams too. All of us growing up were like, that's what we're gonna do. That's where our life is headed and they both did that and then I guess it kind of picked up my my freshman year mm -hmm. um, I started doing a lot more television and film mm -hmm. like the first television job that I booked was um, a pilot that I did for um, Disney XD didn't get picked up obviously because <laughs> but yeah you know, um, I did that and that really kind of like I don't want to say like catapulted my television career to be a series regular like in a pilot yeah like for a very well established network yeah. Disney. That's a pretty good starting line. So yeah. my ki my I kind of was like, oh, like if this is where maybe I'm this at is where here. my life is headed. Right. Like at 13, I was doing what like <clears throat> the end goal is after 4 years of school. Right, right, right. Yeah. Exactly. That's exactly what it was. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? Maybe College is like not the best place for me because since then do I sound really cocky right now? No, 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 no. I think it's interesting. It's good because I don't do I the like TV I sound agency so gross. Thing. And no, I, promise I promise I'm not you. trying to. She's not. She's actually the best and <laughs> the most modest, I swear to God. Like it's ridiculous how modest she is. So thank you. Throwing that out there. But also like no. I just it's like fine. I just realized I feel like I was Oh my god, no, 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 really not at gross. all. No. Um at all. because of that pilot, I was able to get a really good television agent from it because I was doing commercial work since I was like born because my parents are both in the industry so they were kind of just like me and my two other sisters they were both just kind of like okay we'll just throw them in and like see if they like it if they want to do something else then they can do something else right so just like I guess from the time that I was born I was kind of like in it so I started doing commercial work getting commercial work I think I was like like five or six when I booked my first you commercial. were a cute kid and you had a very good Thank look you. too Thank you. What happened? Ugh, so many things. <laughs> the amount of school, like high school, that I missed is like- Oh, it's so funny. I don't understand how I graduated. Every time I'd miss school for an audition or if I was filming, because like, <clears throat> if I were to book one job, that's already at least one in one full week of work. Like, so one full week yeah, out of Yeah, because a lot of sitcoms even, isn't it like a-, a first rehearsal Monday and then you rehearse through the week and then Thursday Friday mm -hmm. you shoot so it's That's exactly what week. it is yeah it's a full week how I graduated high school is it's a mystery. really a big mystery every time I would miss school my mom was like are you graduating I was like I hope so because I need to get out of here <laughs> so we just posted on snapchat that we're doing this and that we're going to get some questions so we're gonna open and answer those questions while Ooh. I get ready yeah. So you want to do the honors, Julia? Oh, this is pretty. Did you make this? Yeah, with nail polish. <laughs> oh! Yeah. The, uh, wow. Mattis Sweeney one said, for the question video, have you ever dealt with backstage drama? If so, how do you deal with it? Or, like, how do you stay away from it? Good question, good question. Can I say, like, got it to each one that we do? Yeah, sure. And you can, you can add a little bitmoji, because I love bitmojis. My friends hate that I love bitmojis. <laughs> 
And I love it's... that you love bitmojis. Aw, oh, thanks, girl. Um, so, backstage drama sucks big time. Yes. Oh, I just sent her two bitmojis by accident. <laughs> One of them's an egg. You just sent the egg bitmoji? <laughs> and one's Sorry a cat. for the egg. This. <laughs> Sorry for the egg. Sorry this for is the Julia. egg. Uh -huh. How do we oh, deal wow. with backstage drama? Okay, so backstage drama, I'd say I try to just treat them as if like I was a grown-up in a professional production this is a workplace issue so like try to brush it off try to focus on your work mm -hmm. um, nine times out of ten if someone's bullying you it's because they have their own battle that's going on yeah. and they're dealing with their own garbage if this is like a school production or like a you know a youth production um, go to the director you know, yeah. there's no there's no harm in, in telling somebody that somebody's bothering you or you're witnessing something that's not right. Or, absolutely, absolutely. Because one of the best things about theater is that like you create a family. Yeah. And you don't want any conflict backstage. Next one is from the awesome Sid. She said, How many shows have you two done together? Three Nah. Okay, we did Ragtime. Into the Woods. Oh my god! Milky White! I would I was Milky Way. I'm so dumb! So Into the Woods was our first one. Yeah. Then we did Ragtime. And then Music Man. You're right. Kiss Me Kate. Guys and Dolls? Guys and Dolls. Yeah. That's five! And six, Carrie! Eight. Carrie! E. Chavez, 17. Chavez? Chavez? Yeah. Said, ah, this is so exciting. Dream pair you two would love to play together, other than Carrie and Margaret, part two, of course. Oh my gosh. Actually, full circle, we were talking about this the other day that, like, I mentioned this actually in last week's video. Um, I mentioned about like if one of us wins the lottery that we wanna... I know I was gonna comment yeah. like I know what friend you're talking about. <laughs> oh, it's me. <laughs> it's me. So we wanna do Once Upon a Mattress as Larkin and Fred. Um, we wanna do Carrie again, but as Sue and Carrie. Yeah. Uh, with Kelly Lester as Margaret. <laughs> with my mother as <laughs> But she'd be so but, good. Like, but actually talk. though, my mom is a performer. She would be. She's really great. Top. She only played notch. Margaret like a year ago. Right? I know. Yeah. yeah. She would have been. She was perfect. down to the final two for Margaret at one of the regional theaters near us. She. Um, uh, she yeah. She would so be bomb good. diggity as Margaret. It'd be so good. So uh, yeah. let's do that. And mm -hmm. then right now we were trying oh. to think of other shows. Eponine and Cosette. Oh Lions. yeah. But that's yeah. A, that's like a that's gonna happen. Yeah. Just, I don't know. Any show we would do together would Honestly, be like amazing. Yeah. So. It's good. Hey, it's Hannah. One hundred and two said. I like how you enunciate everyone's username so nicely. Thank you. Like you're an mm -hmm. actress. Or something. Oh what? She said, OMG, hi, I love you both. Love ah. you too. And I know you just did a video on this, but I was wondering what some of Julia's dream roles. Wow! Fancy. Oh, I would love to answer. Well, two of my dream roles that I've happily already played were Eponine and Carrie. So those were like my top two. I would love to play Natalie in Next to Normal. Oh my god, yes. I've heard her sing the majority of the score of Heathers and she'd be the best Veronica. Oh, I really would love to be there. Veronica and Heathers. Sally Bowles in Cabaret or I already played Janet in Jazzy Chaperone. I would love to play her again. That's a fun role. Um, also the chaperone when I'm like... Oh yeah! Older. Isn't that exciting? I know. That there's like a lot of good older woman yeah. roles out there. For like sure. I can't wait to be old enough to play Desiree in yes. Little Night Music, yes. right? Oh yes. Oh my god. Um, okay, do you know what? Let's do Little Night Music together. You can be Petra. I'll be Anne. For I shall marry the Miller son. Let's do Jekyll and Hyde together. Oh, I want to be Lucy and Jekyll and Hyde. There's another okay. one. There's another one. I just snapchatted Priscilla Tails back with <laughs> Gorby instead of Got It. So if you get this, just know that it was me. Oh my god, Julia. Not, not Catherine. Gabby North 23 said, what musical theater character has the most dramatic change in your opinion? Mm. Mm. Jekyll I, to Hyde? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna go with Bobby from Company. Ooh, that's a good one. I think it takes a lot to grow from like being selfish, not in like an evil way, but in just like a self-preserving way into being vulnerable and like yeah. letting people into your life. I'm saying Celie from The Color Purple. Ooh, yes, I take it. She starts off as this like fragile, I think she's like 14 when the show mm. first starts, to this like independent woman. Ugh, I love that show. That's my favorite so show ever. Maddie Edelman said, what's your favorite type of pizza? <laughs> Ooh, plain or with some sausage? Okay. Um, we get a lot of hate for this, but I love pineapple on my pizza. This is new information. I'm s it, this is- this was a new taste that I acquired, and it's dank. So if you're a hater of pineapple pizza because you think it just sounds gross, taste it first, and then your opinion will change, because it's delicious. Sure. I also really like black olives on my pizza. 
Brielle Tab said, I'm thinking about doing Carrie the Musical. Should I do it? Love you. Yes! Duh! Love you too. Carrie's the do best. It. It's do it. so fun. Mariana Toro said, how does one deal with snakes slash shady people in my theater group? I thought you meant real snakes and I'm like, call an exterminator. That's so dangerous. Don't try to deal with that. <laughs> it's a very like selfish industry. Absolutely. Um, Everybody's always out for themselves. Yeah. You know, it's, a, it's very rare. It's I mean, so find find good people who aren't going to be shady find good friends that you can trust yeah um and just don't don't give shady people the time of day they usually do it yeah. to get a rise out of you or to further themselves right. there's a lot of really gross people that you're gonna find in theater but there's a lot of really really wonderful people that you're gonna find if you're trying to stick with the people that are making you feel bad because you're trying to please them or anything it's just it's just not worth it totally you know? Just gotta stick by the people who uh, make you feel make you feel good about yourself, dude. Yep. As a Rafa's guard, ten. I'm sure you said that right. Yep. Totally. Said of all the roles you've played, which one do you think you learned the most from? I'd have to say. I mean, it sounds a little cliche, but probably Christine Dye. Um, yes. I it, it's so like I had it in my brain as like I you know if I ever get to do this, that's like amazing, and it's so difficult, and like. Once I overcame that mental hurdle of like, oh, I can sing this role, everything else in life kind of became easier because it was like in my brain for so many yeah. years. So that was for me. Yeah. But what about you? Les Mis, I had already experienced like the breaking out of my shell kind of deal. And mm -hmm. then with Carrie, it was like so vocally demanding that I was that like same with mm -hmm. you. I was like, I was like, if I can sing this and do it, you know, for eight performances, like, like I'm gonna like, like oh, you know nail an audition or everything you know, else is like just kind of like easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a sigh of relief. It's